like you know that you're an Israelite. Uh, I've heard of it. You've heard that you're an Israelite. So do you have any questions about um, your nationality? What what actually took place? How do we know that you're actually Israel? Um, you know, can we prove it in the Bible? I mean, do you have any questions? Yeah, how do we know? How do we know that we are Israel? Right. Okay, there are some things, according to the, the Bible, right? The Bible was written over 3,000 years ago. Okay, so it's undisputable. We know it's, it's, we know it's God's word. There's no way to get around it, okay? There are certain prophecies in this book that was written that only pertain to a certain people. You follow what I'm saying? Right. So that's how we're able to identify who we are based on those prophecies that was written before we were born. That's you right. follow what I'm saying? So as we go through these these uh, these prophecies that were written over 3,000 years ago, we're going to find that they only pertain to one people. You follow what I'm saying? And when you begin to identify the fact that they pertain to you, then you understand that you are Israel. Okay. You, you follow what I'm saying? Hold that yes, sir. Thank okay. Uh, give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So the Most High God through the prophet Moses was talking to the children of Israel because the whole Bible is written to the children of Israel. You understand that, right? Okay, so this prophecy, Moses said, if you do what God is telling you to do. So he's, he's, he's about to lay out all these, these curses, the blessings and everything. If you do these things, God is going to place you above all nations of the earth, right? That's an incredible blessing. Who would turn that down? Nobody in their right mind would be like, hey, I don't need that, man. That ain't, you know what I mean? Nobody would do that because that means you're going to be ruling the entire planet. Right. right. You're going to be running the show. Everywhere you go, you're going to be in power. That's so right. it would make no sense to give that up, right? Okay, now give me uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So in this verse, this is just the opposite. So in, in the first one, he said, hey, if you do these things, I'm going to bless you. Here he's giving you the, the, the directive that if you don't do these things, there's some other things that's going to happen. Read on. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So very distinctive. He said to observe and to do. So it's, it's more than just knowing. You can't just observe it. You follow what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, they listen to what we're saying and they hear it. You know, like the scripture says, it's a lovely song. It sounds good. You know what I mean? But he said, and to do. Yeah, you got to be a doer of the word. You that's can't just right. hear it. You follow what I'm saying? So that's the observation of it. That's You're willing right. to hear it, which is the first thing that shows that you have some form of wisdom. That's what the scripture says, that a wise man will hear. That's Proverbs chapter one, verse three. So if you hear it and you understand it, the thing for you now to do is to do it. Right, you follow right. what I'm saying? Read on. Bring it out. That all these curses. So is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. It's a bad thing, right? It's definitely not you being above all nations, right? <laughs> exactly. Read on. Shall come upon thee. So the Most High God says that these curses shall come upon thee. Right? So there's no question about this, whether it's going to happen or not. Right. It's going to happen. Right. You follow what I'm saying? There's no getting around that thing. These curses shall come upon thee. Why? If you don't hearken and observe and do Bring it out. what the Most High God said do. Read on. That's right. And overtake thee. So these curses are not going to only just, just come upon you. They're going to overtake you. What, what does it mean to overtake? Take over completely. I mean, just take over. Exactly. Just a complete right. takeover. Right. Like, like right. somebody just coming to take over your house. Like Esau goes around and steals entire nations. Right. He just come and take over. That's almost, right. almost like you ain't got no control. Like you you exactly. Over. Exactly. So these curses are going to come and take over you. Right. Like you have no control of what's going on. They're going to be on you. Period. Point blank. Read on. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So the Most High God said we're going to be cursed in the city if we don't observe and do all his commandments. When you look at our people in every metropolitan area in this country and all countries of all over the scale of the face of the earth, because we were scattered all over the face of the earth, right? right? Every place you go, our people are in the same condition. We're in the ghettos. Right. 
We have the worst jobs. Bring it out. We have the worst health care. That's, That's right. right. You follow? We're stuck in all these crazy religions that have nothing to do with us. Right. right. No, right. You follow what I'm saying? We're on the bottom of society. They call us niggas. You follow what I'm saying? Bro, they call us all kind of derogatory terms. Right. Right. We're on the bottom. Read on. And curse shalt thou be in the field. Curse shalt thou be in the field. There was a brother, was that you, brother, saying that when you uh, were in the prison system, they had you working in the in the uh, sugar cane fields, in the farms and all that? Mm. Cursed in the field. The curse is standing right here before you. The, the right. evidence of it. Right. It's upon our people. Right. Right? Give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 46. Bring it out. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So we're talking about the curses still. This is a continuation from what he said in verse 15. Right? He goes through a whole list of curses right on through the whole chapter. Right? Right up to verse 68. But here he's saying, read again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. So these curses, they shall be upon thee for a sign. What does a sign do? If you identify something. Exactly. That's Bingo. Right. It helps you identify something. Read on. And for a wonder. Okay, a wonder. A wonder is just just total amazement. It's like you it's like wow, you you just amazed. You follow what I'm saying? So these curses are gonna be for a sign to identify the children of Israel. Because that was what we were talking about from the beginning. You want to be able to identify who you were according to the scriptures. That's right. right. And so these curses are gonna help you identify who you are. Read on. And upon thy seed forever. So the Most High God said, not only are these seed, these signs gonna uh, are gonna these curses gonna be upon the people that Moses was speaking to at that time for a sign and a wonder, but it was gonna be uh, gonna be upon what now? Upon thy seed forever. What is your seed? Like your children, your offspring. Exactly, That's your children, right. your offspring. So these curses were gonna be upon your seed for how long? Forever, for yeah. just a little while. Forever, just a few months. Forever, the Most High God said that these curses were going to be upon your seed forever. Bring it up, bring it up. So we need to go find out what these curses are, so we can identify. And avoid them. Exactly, avoid them, and I, so we can help. First of all, identify who we are, right. because most of our people. How you doing, bro? All right, all right, Shalom. I think I saw you at the school once or twice, right? It was here? Okay, all praises to the Most High. All praises. Uh, you have any questions? Hey, just step up and ask. We're just helping the brother identify that he's actually a child of the Most High God. That's an right. Israelite according to the scriptures, right? That's okay, right. read that again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder upon thy seed forever. So we're talking about the curses. This is how we're going to identify who we are according to the scriptures. Because we know the people over in Israel, they don't fit these, these curses. You follow what I'm saying? That's right. They don't fit the curses. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Bring it out. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Who, who gonna do that? The Lord shall smite thee with madness. So the very God we serve, through the prophet Moses, prophesied that he was gonna smite us with madness. You know what madness is? Yeah, I yeah, like evil, like uh, you upset. You you upset? You a madman. Right. right? Right. Like the mad scientist. You right. follow you crazy, basically. Right. So when you go like especially the metropolitan areas. In, in, anywhere really, but metropolitan areas are, are notorious for this. You see how people we're like, what is wrong with this brother? Or what's wrong with this sister? And they just bugged out of their mind. Mm -hmm. The most high is smitten them with madness. They literally bugged out. Mm. You follow that's a curse. So when you see our people in that condition, you know the Most High is still fulfilling His word. It, it is what it is. Read on. And blindness. And blindness. Right now, you're trying to understand that you're actually an Israelite. So you're blind to the fact of who you are, your right. identity, your culture. You follow what I'm saying? No. Everything that makes you who you are. Because you're not African. Oh, no. You're not American. Right. You follow what I'm saying? That stuff has nothing to do with you. Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, Valentine's Day, and all that, that stuff has nothing to do with you. That's right. You follow what I'm saying? But they gave that to you, to your ancestors in slavery, and Bring they it passed up. it down to us. So we're like, okay, cool. This is who we are. So that's what we did. But that stuff has nothing to do with us. Read right. on. An astonishment of heart. So the Most High God said we're going to have astonishment of heart. 
just like the same thing like wonder an amazement just completely astonished man how did you get in this situation how did you people go from being kings of the world to to being nothing that's right how did you get to the bottom man you was on top you was royalty what happened Follow the laws. You didn't follow the laws. Exactly. Give me verse 30. Okay, bring it out. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Mm -hmm. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. So the Most High God says, another way you're going to understand that you're Israel is because these curses that we're going through, which is the Spirit of the living God, these words are the, are the Spirit of the living God. Okay, so you're going to know when these scriptures come out, they're going to bear witness with your spirit. And what, right. what are they going to tell you? That we are the children of God. That's that right. Bring it out. That we are the children of God. So this is how you're going to know that you are a child of the living God. Because these scriptures that we're going to th go, uh, go through are going to bear witness with your spirit. I can bring another nation up here and these scriptures that we're about to go through, it's, they're not going to identify with that. Right. You follow what I'm saying? Because they, they, they ain't got no connection to it. You follow what I'm saying? But our people have a, con a connection to it. And it's perpetual. That thing is forever, like we just read in 2846. That, they, that these curses are going to be upon us for a sign and for a wonder and upon our seed forever. So it's perpetual. There's no end to it. You follow what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, give, where you at? Uh, yeah, give me verse 30. Verse 30. Thou shalt betroth thy wife. And another man shall lie with her. So, in every movie concerning slavery, right? Roots, 12 Years a Slave, Django, I mean, you name it. All the movies that showed us being in captivity, did that not happen to our women? Where the slave master came in, took your wife, and went and laid with her. And wasn't nothing you could do about that. There was nothing you could do about that. Read that again from the top. Thou shalt betroth thy wife. The word betrothed means you're going to get married and have a wife. Read on. And another man shall lie with her. Your oppressor, the slave master, is going to lie with your wife. That's right, bro. You follow what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> I mean, right now, if that happened, you probably go to jail behind it. Yeah. You follow what I'm saying? Back then, I mean, it was what it was. Right. But now, you can't even imagine that happening. You follow what I'm saying? Somebody coming in and taking your wife and just gonna go lay with your wife. And then he gonna get up and go on about his business like everything cool. That ain't gonna happen. Right. Not right now. That's you follow right. what I'm saying? Bring, bring it up. The, hey, but That's hey, right. hey, that thing happened then because the most high prophesied that it was gonna happen. That's it's God's word. You can't stop it. It's nothing. Look, the world it can't do nothing about this. That's right. Everything you this right here, it may look small. Bruh, there's nothing the planet can do about this. Right, That's right. Everything this Bible says is gonna come to pass, it's gonna come to pass. That's right. You follow what I'm saying? Read on. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So these curses are gonna be upon your seed forever, right? And what did he just say? Thy sons and thy daughters. So your seed. Your sons and your daughters, read on, shall be given unto another people. So when did that happen? Bring it up. Exactly. Right. Our sons and our daughters were given unto another people. Right. The people sitting in Israel today, they can't make that claim. Right. And if they do make that claim, because they can, they can make movies and write books and all this kind of crazy stuff, but they can't prove it in the history. They can't go into scriptures and prove that they actually went th that they went through that. Right. Bring their sons up. and their daughters never, were never taken from them right. and given to another people. Right. right. That never happened to them. That's right. e even to this day, if you act up and do something crazy with your children, guess what? Who coming to get them? Defects. Right. right. They still gonna take your sons and your daughters. Right. right. Read, read on. Okay, go ahead. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. Whew. The most I said, you going to have children, but you ain't going to enjoy them. Why, you, why are you not going to enjoy them? Read. For they shall go into captivity. Because you going into slavery. That's right. That's right. You follow what I'm saying? Bruh, there's no other nation on the face of the earth that can stake claim to these prophecies. No, it didn't happen to nobody else. You follow what I'm saying? So so by default, you understand, we know who we are based on the scriptures. Because the scriptures bear witness with our spirit that we are the sons of God. And we know that thing because the scriptures can't lie. The whole world know 
know the scriptures can't lie. But now that we understand it's talking about us, guess what? We look at them like, talk to the hand. We ain't got to, we ain't trying to hear that. We're not trying to hear that. We don't. But verse 32, thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. You ain't got nothing but tears in your eyes because somebody that came and took your son and your daughter. Bring it out. I mean, you, bro, you, you, <laughs> bro, somebody took your son and your daughter. You got children? If somebody came and took, I'm talking about violently, just took your son and your daughter. You gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, bro, yeah. read on, read on. And they, and fell with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Back then, because of that prophecy, there was no might in our hands. There was nothing we could do. They came in, slept with our our our, 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 our daughters, our wives, even as our sons. They were they, they sodomized our sons. That's right. That's right. They raped our daughters, bruh. Eight, nine years old, 10, 11, 12 years old. You understand? <laughs> just took up your whole life exactly and there was no might in your hand there was nothing you could do about that nothing whatsoever that you could do about that read on more oh verse 45 moreover all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the lord thy god Exactly. So verse 15 told us if we don't hearken, observe, and do all these commandments, read that verse again. Moreover, all these curses, back to the curses again, these curses, read on, shall come upon thee. So these curses are going to come upon you. It's like you can't avoid them. <laughs> you can't run from them. You know what I'm saying? They're going to come upon you. Read on. And shall pursue thee. Hey, you ever play football? Hey, you got that brother running, trying to run you down, right? He's trying to catch you so he can tackle you. Yeah. That's what the Most High God is saying. Bring it out. These curses are going to pursue you. They're going to run you down. Read on. And overtake thee. And they're going to overtake you, tackle you, bring you down to the ground. Like the scriptures say, the children of Israel were cast down from heaven to the earth. Bring it out. We lost everything. That's, That's right. right. Okay, and you look at us right now, what do we have? We ain't got no land. Right. We ain't got no land. This ain't ours. The nation, the country is not ours. Right. You follow what I'm saying? The companies we work for is not ours. Right. Give me uh, uh, verse 48. The, the, everything, nothing is ours. We don't own it. You follow what I'm saying? Right. That, but when you look at the other nations, look right over here. U.S. Delhi, we don't own it. Right. You follow what I'm saying? Hey, the tax guy, I mean, uh, the attorney over there, guess what? He still got to pay taxes. Bring it right. up. You follow what I'm saying? Right. And guess who we had to go to to even set that up? White. He had to go to the white man. Right. He had to go to our oppressors. You follow what I'm saying? There's no way around it. There's absolutely no way around it. But the other nations, they can do it. They ain't got no problem. They can go to the bank and get the loans. Right. Okay, yeah, boom, we'll give you 200000 You know, they'll give them whatever they need to set up. But us, we got a problem. Bring it up. That thing is directed against us. Go read what you got. Yeah, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. The Most High God said we're going to serve our enemies. Not our friends because, hey, these people put yokes of iron on our neck. They threw us on slave ships. Bring it up. You follow what I'm saying? They scattered us all over the world right. for, for profit. They made a profit. Bro, we were the first thing being traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Right. 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 It was us. Right. Not the commodities. It was us. Right. Slaves. You follow what I'm saying? That's and so read what you got, read on. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So the scripture said that the Lord is going to send these against us. Why would he send our enemies against us when you read throughout the, the, the scriptures, the Most High protected us. He fought battles for us. Right. He didn't allow the enemy to, to, to take us over until we started breaking his commandments. Bring it right. up. You follow what I'm saying? Just like any father would do. You follow what I'm saying? You, you got rules in your house. Right. You set up the rules in your house. And you say, look, you need to be here at such and such a time. So uh, This other daughter, this other son, you need to do this, that, and the other. I'm giving you these uh, responsibilities. Right. Take care of them. Do right. them. Right. Boom. You go to work. You come back. And guess what? If they ain't done them, 
It's consequences. Yeah, freak right. it out. It's, the only thing is, God's stick is bigger than your stick. Right. You follow right. what I'm saying? Right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.